coming. All right, so just let me know as you come in, your city and your state. Hello, Pamela. Hello, Jennifer. I am going to uh, wait a few more minutes. It's not quite yet eight o'clock. Uh, it will be shortly. Hey, Melinda is coming in from Los Angeles. Hey, Melinda, originally from Cleveland. And Pamela is in Tempe, Arizona. And who else do we have? Jennifer from West Virginia. And oh, we got a couple of Jennifers. Jennifer's also, uh, there's another Jennifer coming in from the ATL. Oh, Renee, 104. Oh my gosh, it was 111 over the weekend. Okay, Renee, you win. I'm not complaining anymore. I'm not gonna complain about my 90, my 90 degrees. We have about a minute left. So this is a very condensed presentation. Normally my presentations are about an hour and a half, but I only have about 25 minutes today. So this is gonna be a condensed version of this presentation. So we're gonna start at eight o'clock and it is eight o'clock, so we're gonna get started. Hello, everybody. My name is Linda Peavy. I'm going to be your host for this evening where we're going to talk about grant money for your woman-owned business. So I'm going to hop back over onto Zoom and I am going to share my screen and hopefully I think everybody can see. Everybody should be able to see my screen. So give me a yes. Give me a yes. If you can see my screen, give me a yes, everyone. If you can see my screen, just give me, give me a yes. Okay, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. All right, so we're going to get started. Let me hop back on over to my Zoom. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing and share again now that I know that that is working. We're going to get started. All right. My name is Linda Peavy, and I am here to talk to you about grant writing and grants for your woman-owned business. And we have about 25 minutes, and then um, I have some special information for you at the end. Again, this presentation is normally about an hour, so it's condensed, so... We are ready to get going. A little bit of information about me and who I am. They call me the Grants Queen. I am nicknamed the Grants Queen because I have secured over $17 million in funding and grants for my clients. And I have owned my business for 16 years now. I'm in year 16 of Wapav Consulting. And all those 16 years, I've been a professional grant writer. And so as a part of my work, I have won grants for not just nonprofits, but yes, for small businesses. And that is the great news is that, yes, there's grant money for women-owned businesses. I am also a proud alumnus of the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses Program. And my undergrad and graduate degrees are from the University of Akron. Go Zips. All right. So want to make sure everybody's in the right place. Now, we're going to cover quickly, why is this class even important? What are some of the grant basics that you need to know as a woman-owned business seeking grants? How do you prepare to write grants? Like, what do you write in an application? How do you write the application so that you get notice in a sea of applications, right? And then how do you attract organizations that want to give you funding? Because that's the key right? You need to be able to attract the organizations that are wanting to give you money as a woman-led organization. And then I'm going to show you some tips on how you get that grant application noticed. How do you attract those organizations? And then I'm going to teach you how to conduct grant research so that you are finding the organizations, right, that want to give you money. And then don't go anywhere because I do have a little surprise at the end for you including including a list of available grant opportunities for you, yes, as a woman-owned business. All right, we're off to the races. Now, look, why is this class even important? Because we as women entrepreneurs, right, 
We need access to money. We are tremendously underfunded and it shouldn't always be about loans, right? We want grant money, right? Because grant money is free money. But what you need to know is that I don't want you to be scared of grant writing. Grant writing is not what it used to be. You are not sitting in some corner writing some 500 page document for three months on end, right? You can do this because many of these grant applications now are two to three pages. Some of them are two and three questions. So what you need to know is that you can do this because nobody is going to tell your story like you. Now, you may be asking, why is there money for women-owned businesses? When we think about the term grant, what do we think about? A nonprofit. Everything is different now because of COVID-19. When COVID-19 happened, so many small businesses went under, including women-owned businesses. And your foundations and your corporate foundations, those are the organizations that provide grant money. So they said, we have to do something about this. Too many small businesses are going under. Too many women-owned businesses are going under. So they started to create pools of grant money earmarked, right, for women-owned businesses. Now, what do you need to know in general about grants? Grants are not paid back. Now, predominantly, I'm just talking to the women business owners, right, the women entrepreneurs. Just in case you happen to lead a nonprofit, I'll just say this to you. You'll need to get your 501c3 if you're going to seek grant money. No, that's just for the nonprofits. If you are a small business, you don't need a 501c3. But, but for many of you who may also have a nonprofit, you'll need to get your 501c3. And that's your tax exempt designation by the IRS. You'll need to go to the IRS to get that uh, exempt designation. But if you are a for profit, a small business, no, you don't need the 501c3. But what you do need to know, all of you, is that money is available. Right, don't let anybody tell you that there's no money for small businesses and that there's no money for women-owned businesses. It's just not true. Look at this number here. This was in 2022. That number has increased. $180 billion in one year, just from foundation and corporation giving. <clears throat> All the money is available, right? It's about how do you place yourself in a position to get it? Now, what do you need to do? All of you, you need to be what's called grant ready. You need to be ready to apply for grants for your woman-owned business. You need your EIN, your employer identification number. Now, you may need your state certification. That means you are designated maybe as a sole proprietor or an LLC or even S Corp. So you should have your articles of incorporation from your state. And if you don't, I need for you to go to your Secretary of State's website, okay? Your Secretary of State's website, find out whether or not you have your business license because you will need one. You need a list of your board of directors. You need a list of your staff. It's great to have letters of support, right? You want foundations to know that there are other organizations that support you as a woman-owned business, right? Right? Now, if you are currently operating, you will need your financial statement that can include your profit and loss statement and your balance sheet. You also need an operating budget, right? Because at the end of the day, you must know how much money it's going to take for you to operate your business over the course of a year. So this is information you will need before you even start applying for grants, right? And then any other funding sources you may have, you may have other grants or other sponsorships, put them in the grant application. All right, next, I'm going to just whip through your typical components of a grant application and let you know best practices, right? So that you know how to write this application so that you place yourself in a better position of getting it approved. Now, the summary abstract section of the grant, that's your summary. What I want you to do is to write it last. You'll see it first, but you write it last because you're going to go through that application and pull out the most compelling components and dump them into your summary abstract, right? So we're doing best practices in the grant application. All of you should have a mission statement. This is critical. What is the mission? That's what you're doing right now, your aims and your goals, right? And you need to be able to align your mission to the mission of the foundation that you're seeking money from. There's a history section on the grant application. You'll need to complete it. 
But this section here is really where you set your grant application apart from everybody else's. And that is how you describe your organization. And I really want you all to think about what has been the impact of your organization on the people that you serve or your customers and use real numbers. So let's say you have an online coaching service, maybe in career development. Well, how many people have you coached, right? To their future careers. This is where you can really set your application apart from everyone else's. So use real numbers. And then as you're writing your grant application, you always want to talk about what issue are you resolving? And there should always be an issue, whatever organization or project or service-based or product-based company that you have, you should be addressing some need, right? You have to be able to write about what need you're addressing so that foundation knows that you are the organization that they want to give money to because you've been successful at addressing that need, right? Because you want to be able to connect the need to whatever the foundation is, right, that you're seeking money from. Because you want to know where foundations give their grant money. And typically you can go to their websites to find that out, but unfortunately about 90% of foundations don't even have a website, so you'll need to do further research. But this is really important because you must know where foundations are giving grant money in the area of women-owned businesses, right? Also, you have to define your target population. Like who, who are you helping? You can't help everybody. This is an issue I see a lot with a lot of women businesses. You just want to help everybody. You can't help everybody. You need maybe one or two target populations because guess what? That target population is going to lead you to the foundation that wants to give you money because they're giving grant money to women-owned businesses, right? That are helping a particular target population. So you have to be able to define like who, who would best be helped by your organization. But when you are completing these grant applications, please remember that it's a document that tells a story. It tells your story of your organization and the lives that you've changed, the outcomes that you've been able to achieve. And as I always say, when you are writing that grant application, you want to show that impact. You want to use real examples, testimonials. It doesn't matter if you have a bakery, right? You can get, get testimonials for your bakery or an online coaching service. It's so important to use those real examples in the grant application, right? And use video. Ask your customers to film like a 30-second video so that you would be able to submit it with the grant application. But all of you will need to make a decision, though, as to what kind of grant money you want. Do you want operating grant money? Like, we really love operating grant money because you decide where to put it. You can put operating grant money towards your salaries or IT or your lease. But most grant money has to go towards a particular program or project. So you have to decide. But what you must do is always apply to multiple foundations. And this is where organizations get really frustrated. If they get that rejection letter, they stop. And they don't ask, right, for additional funding from other foundations. You, you must apply to multiple foundations when you are seeking grant money. Why? Because grants are not guaranteed. This is very important for all of you to hear. Grants are not guaranteed. Don't let anyone tell you that they can guarantee you grant money because typically that means they're trying to scam you. So be very, very careful of anyone saying to you, I can guarantee you grant money. Grant money cannot be guaranteed. I always recommend that for you as a woman business owner, collaborate with other organizations in your community. It will help with your grant application because foundations and corporate foundations, they really don't expect you to work in some silo. So the more partnerships you can develop, the better chances you will have of winning grant money, right? Now, as you are seeking money, when you are completing that application, you always wanna talk about what do you expect will happen if you get the grant money, right? You have to be able to talk about what you think your results are going to be, right? What do you think your impact is going to be if you get the grant money? So be prepared to write about that. And also, you know, you have to have goals, right? Anytime you're seeking grant money, you need to be able to state 
what do I expect to happen? What do I want to happen if I get the grant money? And just keep in mind, most of you know what SMART goals are. They have to be SMART goals, right? Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. Now, when you get ready to create that budget as to how you're going to spend the grant money, itemize your expenses. Like you can't just write, I need 50 grand for like an executive director. Well, maybe it's a contracted person. How much are you paying the person an hour? How many hours are they working a week? How many weeks out of the year? Just be specific when you are asking for the grant money as to how it is going to be spent. And keep in mind that you have to write a narrative that explains exactly how you're going to spend the grant money. And always think about sustainability, right? Because if a foundation gives you grant money in year one, they may not be able to give you grant money in year two. So you always have to have a plan to continue your program, even if you don't get the grant money in year two. So these are just some summaries here. But if you don't take anything else away from this presentation, I can tell you this is it. Be prepared to meet with the foundation. This is as important as anything you'll ever write in the grant application. You have to meet with the foundation and they want to meet with you. Like, don't be scared. They want to meet with you. This is critical because they're thinking about giving you money and you're, you're trying to extract money from their foundation. So you want to meet them and they want to meet you because you need to build a relationship. This is about more than just writing some words on an application. You need to be able to build a relationship with these foundations, right? So I'm gonna give you a couple of slides here. This is where you find grants, right? This is how you conduct grant research. The Foundation Directory Online is a leading source of information on grants in the United States. Now, if you want to seek federal grants, you wanna to go to grants.gov. I love these two sites here, grantwatch.com. They're about $20 a week. And if you are searching for grants as a woman on business, be sure you put in either startup grants or for-profit grants or small business grants. They're $20 a week, grantstation.com. They're about $200 for the whole year. But again, as you are searching for grants for women on businesses, input the fact that you are for-profit or small business. And that's one of the ways in which you can search for grants that are geared specifically towards you as a small business. Now, this is the homepage of Grant Watch, just to give you an idea of what this looks like. For example, in the middle there, you're going to check business. You're going to complete all this information, like what type of grant are you looking for? Who do you serve? Where do you serve? Where are you located, right? And you input the information, it's $20 a week, and it will give you your list of grants for organizations, right, that want to get funding to small businesses, all right? Now, I said I had a list of, of grant opportunities for you, and here it is. All of you should be signed up to helloalice.com because that is a website that will provide you with many different grant opportunities, especially for women-owned businesses, right? Do any of you have a brick and mortar? There's a Main Street grant for you. Do you have a beauty brand? Maybe you develop beauty products. L'Oreal has a grant for you. Amber Grants for Women, right? They give away $10,000 every single month. NASE, they have grants, right? Are you looking for maybe an angel investor, right? Women who invest in other women's businesses, 37angels.com. Cartier, the jewelry company, they have a grant. Now, are any of you startups? Maybe you're just starting. Don't think there are no grants for you. Busy and sky's the limit. They have a grant, right? Or you may be super small and, and think, oh, I'm just too small for grants. That's not true. There are many organizations that provide grants for startups and really small organizations. And I always say, be sure that you are networking um, as well. So that is the list of available grant opportunities for you. If you want to be able to work with me, I created something that I, has been so helpful to the clients that work with me. I know I can't write a grant for everyone. So what did I do? Because I want to try to help everybody with this, with the grant money. I developed a grant writing course, right? Like this is how I was able to win $17 million. And I put it in a course so that you would be able 
to do the same. And it's, it's a step-by-step -step path to funding. It really is. And it includes my coaching. I teach you how to conduct research. I teach you how to find organizations that want to give you money as a woman-led business. I show you how do you approach them, right? And I teach you how to write every single part of that grant narrative so that you're placing yourself in the best possible position to get the grant. You get 12 modules, 35 lessons. Every lesson starts with a video. By the time you're done with this course, you will have created a beautiful grant template. You're ready to apply for grants. And I actually give you examples so that you know, right? what you're writing and what it should look like. And I also provide something that nobody else in the country is providing. I give you a list of over 500 organizations that provide grant money right now. And you have access to my, to my excuse me, my private Facebook group. Uh, and you also get an hour of group coaching. I, I really, really want to make sure that you're in the best possible position to seek grant money and the course is valued at $5,000. That's what the university courses cost, right? Over the weekend. And my course is very different. It's very in-depth. It's normally $1,000. I usually keep it at $497, but this is a special, special deal for the Women Helping Women Network. You're getting 50% off even of the $500 price, but you've got three days to get it. So you get the whole course working with me $247. Yes, you can write it off. Yes, it's tax deductible. And even if you want to make two payments, you can. You can make the one payment of $247 or you can make two payments, one $137.50 now and then another payment in a month. And guess what? My course never expires, right? You have access to the Facebook group, the course, the group coaching session, Everything is available for you. You have it for three days. This is a, a huge special that I'm giving to the women helping women who are with me. You have the three days to get it. And in the information that you'll be saying, and the, there's a link, if you want to hit the link, there's a link to the course where you can buy the course, you can purchase it. If you want to, you certainly can. You hit purchase and everything's 50% off for you. So you hit the purchase, but you have to input that code. There are codes that I listed that are very important. So you input the code, it takes the 50% off for you for the next three days. And I also provide private coaching, just so you know, just you and me one-on-one. -on -one. That's normally $500 is normally $495 for the hour. But I even, I've even reduced that for you to 195 because I'm here to help you. And that is a private VIP session. You and me, we do a deep dive into your organization. I look at your mission, your vision, your infrastructure, your target population. And then we look at some local and national grants and it's only 195, but you have to buy it with the course. If you want to make the two payments, again, I give you that opportunity. You hit purchase, you hit that link, you go to the page, and now you're looking for two times 275 because that's what everybody else pays, but not you because you're getting that 50% off when you include the code and all of a sudden you're only going to pay 137.50 now and then 137.50 in a month. And these are just some of the amazing students that I have nurtured. Whitney, she won $200,000. She's a student she would never have ever thought that she would get grant money. Uh, she's a student, so she won $200,000 just last year. And these, some of these are, are nonprofits. Most of them are for-profits. And Nett Thompson and Michelle Richardson, they're out of North Carolina. They have a massage company. And they were able to get a $20,000 grant from taking the course, from using my coaching. Christina, she won her very first grant for $10,000 April. She entered a pitching competition and was able to win $9,000. Cornisha won a $750 grant from Walmart and Kimberly, look at Kimberly, she received four sponsorships just in the last month. It's been uh, just amazing the amount of work um, that these women uh, were able to put in and the, the rewards that they were able to take. So I'm gonna stop sharing and get back to the 
Zoom session, the Zoom session. And I believe I have a few minutes, a few minutes for questions. And so what I'm going to do is to, I'm gonna put the link, I'm gonna put the link where you purchase everything. I'm gonna place that right into the comment section so that everyone will have it. All right, so that's into the comment section. So you have the website. Let me give you my email address. This is my direct email address for any of you that may have questions afterwards. And let's see, I have a couple of couple of questions. So $20 a week is the grant watch. That is a portal where you can search for grants for women business owners, right? They're $20 a week. And if you only have $20, look, you all you have to do is pay the $20, right? So you search for your grants and then you're done. Let's see. For the question, what area do you want to use the money? Is there an area that is found upon like marketing, human resources, expansion. So great, great, great question, Jennifer. So if there, she's asking for the question, what area do you want to use the money? What is your biggest need? What area do you need money in the most? Now, if it is an operations grant, you get to decide where to put the money. However, I would advise against putting all the money towards salaries because foundations really want to see you put money towards more programmatic, right? Now, that's not to say that you can't put some money towards the executive director. Let's say you're the executive director of the program, right? Maybe you, you're a contractor. You need some money, right? Right? For, for the work that you're providing. But I would say spread it out. Sometimes it is frowned upon if you put all of the money towards salaries, right? Because these foundations or the corporate foundations, they really want to see that you're putting some money towards the actual program, right? So keep that in mind. Does this help with federal grants? Absolutely. So part of the $17 million that I've been able to win, so much of that was with federal grants, right? That's where you really are going to need help. So Jody, let me just advise you, be careful with federal grants. They're more difficult to get, all right? And most federal grant applications would prefer that you are partnering with another organization. It's very rare to get a federal grant on your own. So if you have maybe another partner that you can go on with, then you might want to seek out the federal grants, right? But just bear in mind that they're some of the most difficult grants to get. What I ask all of you to do, please start local. It's easier to get local money. Go to your local communities. All of you should have different community foundations. Start local. Like it's easy sometimes to be seduced by those two and $3 million federal grants. Start local. It's easier to get the local grant money, right? But absolutely, this will help with federal grants because I've written small grants. I've written multi-million. I should say I've not only written, I've won. I've won smaller grants. I've won multi-million dollar federal grants. So it will absolutely help with the federal grants. All right, let's see other questions. Other questions. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, uh, I am recording it. So I will drop the link to the recording. Yes. Let's see any other questions because uh, I just have a couple of more minutes and we'll wrap this up. I want to thank everybody for coming out and listening. I hope this was helpful. Hopefully you'll allow me to help you through this process. Please be careful when it comes to grants. There are scammers out there. That's one thing I want to please advise you to be careful about. Don't let anyone say to you that they can guarantee you grant money, right? Those are scammers almost for sure. So I would invite you to come into my community of, of support where I provide you with not just a proven grant writing course, but my coaching as well. You come into the private Facebook group, you ask all of the questions you want. 
I have a live group coaching call every single month. And on that one-on-one, -on -one, people buy the one-on-one, -on -one, oh, I get you together in the one-on-one -on -one because it's just you and me. All right, so let me just make sure that I've answered. Uh, yes, someone is saying that they've been scammed. Please, please, please be careful. The discount code, I'm going to drop that one last time into the chat. If you want to make the one payment, it's W. H W E. If you want to make the two payments, is W H W E with the number two. I'm dropping it in there. One more. Lowercase, please. All lowercase, right? Lowercase. So W H W E, lowercase. If you want to make the one payment of 247. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Send me an email, Jennifer. I'll help you through it. Send me an email and I'll help, I'll help you through it. All right. I put the email here. Um the link, but you have you have to go through the link. You have to put in the code because these are special codes for this group, right? Local, even if you serve globally, it depends, Marita. So what do you mean by serving globally, right? So if you serve globally, let, you could live here in the United States and serve someone in Puerto Rico and search for grants, right? You have to remember their organization's in many different parts of the country that give grants to people locally, nationally, and globally, right? So I wanna thank everyone. My time is up. They give me 30 minutes. My 30 minutes is up. I wanna thank you so much. If you have any other questions, send me an email. Jennifer, send me an email. I'll make sure you get that code to work. And I will see you all in the Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs Facebook group. It's a wonderful group. And I will see you soon. I'm going to place the link uh, to the recording and the group as well. All right. So thank you so much and have a absolutely fantastic day. Bye-bye.